Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a quick update or report on Lake Chickamauga fishing. Um, we just uh, closed out May and this is the first week of June. And fishing honestly had, had been very, very tough leading up to the last week. Um, it's still not like what it was in the last few years during the late May and June. Usually, you know, obviously offshore fishing is the deal. Uh, there's a lot of different schools out there on the lake. And usually in, in the late May and early June, you can go out there with reaction baits, big spoons, crankbaits, scroungers, uh, you know, big football jigs, big worms, things like that. You could, you could go out there and power fish. Um, this year's a little bit different, you know, during the Toyota series, which was, uh, almost a month ago now, uh, it was, it was extremely tough offshore. I mean, I only caught one fish offshore and just, that just blew my mind because, uh, I've never experienced such a tough bite for those fish that just get out there on the ledges. Usually when they just get out there, they are ready to eat. They're ready to bite and just feed up on, on all the shad out there. And this this year is completely different. Um, they're still obviously eating shad out there, but uh, you have to slow down a little bit. And some of my best, uh, uh, most successful techniques this year have been finesse tactics as opposed to, you know, the traditional power fishing tactics that I love fishing out there. So I just did a video uh, on Monday. You can go watch that uh, where I kind of outlined the four different uh, finesse tactics that I like to fish. And those are the four four baits that I'm having the most success with out offshore. And those include a drop shot, uh, a, um, a Nico rig, a shaky head, and a Ned rig. Those are the, th the four baits that I'm catching the majority of my fish out on Lake Chickamauga right now. The fish are still, you know, out there in, in large schools on the ledges, and they'll continue to be in those large schools until they start breaking, uh, you know, those, those schools start breaking apart uh, at the end of June and into the J July. So once the end of June and July comes around, um, you, you know, you, you're you gonna have to, to go look for the smaller groups of fish on a little bit more subtle structure. That seems to be the trend every year. Uh, but for now, you can go out there and find those big giant schools, you know, where there's dozens, if not hundreds of fish and, uh, and throw those, those finesse tactics. That's the way that I've been targeting them. Uh, occasionally you can pick up like a big spoon or, or pick up those, those traditional power fishing ledge tactics uh, and catch one or two, but it's not like an every cast deal. Uh, it's been very, very tough to get. I've had a, a few schools fired up on reaction baits, uh, but in general, it takes a, a, a finesse tactic to really catch numbers out there on the ledges. So as far as techniques that I recommend you, you try out on the ledges, uh, definitely check out that video that I did on Monday or posted on Monday uh, that shows those four different um, finesse tactics that I use. Even though offshore fishing is my favorite way to target bass on Lake Chickamauga this time of year, uh, I, I still occasionally will go shallow. Um, the, I'll be honest, I haven't fished shallow a lot, but the type of fishing that I have been doing when I do go shallow is fishing the hydrilla that is growing pretty decent in some areas, especially around the 60 bridge up north, closer to Dayton. There's a lot of hydrilla growing up there, especially just right around the bridge and right on the edge of the, the main river channel. And I've been throwing chatter baits, you know, just something in like a natural shad color, uh, jackhammer chatter bait, uh, just covering water. You can catch fish that way. Uh, there's definitely some, some grass uh, near the, the Chester frost area. Uh, again, chatter bait will work there, but also swim baits, you know, little five inch swim baits or something like that, even like small little uh, the three inch swim baits will work great too. Uh, and also top waters, there's, there's schooling activity right now uh, that I've seen, especially in the evenings uh, where you've got these big giant schools of fish. I'm not gonna tell you that they're, they're big cause they're generally, you know, fairly small, but they're a lot of fun. And it, there, there's a lot of them around that grass. So if you get around the grass, make sure you have a, uh, you know, walking bait, topwater bait tied on, um, because you can load the boat with uh, some of those fish that are schooling on top. Uh, so those are the two things that I know. I really haven't fished any docks uh, recently. I haven't fished in the backs of any of the creeks. So. 
there's still a really good chance that you can find patterns of shallow, uh, but those are the two things that I know are working right now. Offshore fishing with finesse tactics and fishing the grass with like a chatter bait or a topwater bait, those are, those are definitely working right now. Uh, but the water temperatures, as far as the, just the general conditions, the water temperatures are, you know, uh, in the 80s consistently right now, you'll low 80s, high 70s sometimes, but uh, mostly in the low 80s right now. Uh, so full blown offshore or, or summertime tactics are, are pretty much happening right now or summertime patterns. Uh, and uh, as far as current goes, which is a really big factor when it comes to fishing success on Chickamauga, we've actually got pretty decent current. They're pulling around 45,000 cubic feet per second, uh, somewhere around there, pretty consistently in the last week, in the last few days. And so that's good because before, you know, especially when I fished the Toyota series at the beginning of May, they were only pulling 7,500 and that's why the, the fishing was just so awful. Uh, but now it seems like they're pulling more. We're starting to see a little bit more rain occasionally. So they're definitely, uh, you know, pulling, drawing more current right now. So now is a pretty good time to, to go out there. I'm seeing a lot of tournaments. I've got a lot of buddies that are, are catching big bags in some of the local tournaments around here. A lot of 20 plus pound bags, which, which is pretty promising. We haven't seen that many good bags uh, in recent years, this time of year. And so, you know, like 25 to 27 pounds is it seems to be winning tournaments right now. So the average size is is starting to pick up. So I I feel a little relieved. I was a little bit worried after that first couple weeks of of May and seeing how terrible the fishing was, but now it's starting to to pick up a little bit. But anyways, that's what I'm seeing on Lake Chickamauga right now. It is a a pretty good time to fish chick and it's a, it's a lot of fun out there. It's a little bit different than years past. So if you're coming here, make Make sure you adjust to the conditions, maybe you know, slow down a little bit, fish more finesse tactics when you're fishing the ledges, and uh, when it comes to the grass, just cover water. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm going to see you out on Lake Chickamauga.